2015. The first phase of this project, shown in maroon, was to create an autonomous golf cart. This year starts phase two of the project, which is creating a fleet of autonomous golf carts. The specific details given to the students by the professor was to have a leader golf cart being able to be driven by a human with a fleet of autonomous golf carts following behind it. The team began this project by taking the golf cart on a small joyride. We decided we needed to understand how the golf cart operated before brainstorming ideas. Once we knew how it worked, we split the project up into different subteams. And now to the braking. We have a wire that's attached to our motor, which through pulleys is connected to our brake. Here is us attaching the motor, and as you can see, there are pulleys with the wire going underneath the golf cart, and that eventually attached to our brake. So now let's run the test. And once we want the brakes to initiate, the motor turns, causing the golf cart to stop. Here is our steering system. We received one from next year, allowing us to already have an encoder in our steering system. Once we received it, we were able to build it and attach it onto our golf cart. Now here is our results of us controlling it. Now on to perception. We are using a LiDAR sensor to measure distance and an IR camera to determine turning of the golf carts. Now here's Alina holding the beacon. As she moves it around, you can see that the camera detects it because it sees it moving. Now trying this in real life, we have the beacon on the golf cart. We can see the red dot is following the beacon, meaning that the camera can accurately find it. The power supply powers the EPS, Mini X, and braking motor. It is located underneath the back seat of the golf cart. Here's a picture. Here you can see the boys working on it. They're about to test moving the back right motor. Now that the golf carts have all the hardware they need, it's just time for the code. They get synced up through a leader follower feedback loop, and now it's time to test. The leader golf cart moves, sending its data over to the autonomous golf cart, which copies its movement. 